can sit here and I'll stand up right behind him. I was fine writing, but the rest, nobody had copies of anything. What do you it, mean? It was only the top sheet. Nothing went through. Because I can't use my left arm, so I can't push on it. But you were on a clipboard. It wouldn't, but you have to hold the clipboard in place to push hard to get it through all the copies. So the only the people that had a copy were the rough top sheet. Nobody else had anything. Well, as long as Alex had it, I guess that's all that matters, really. But, you know, we, we'll definitely, let's let's get you at the thing. I, so, it's so too you're good. crowded up here, so that's why I did it elsewhere. Okay. Whatever you want to do. But anybody that wants to write can do it. I can do it if you, if you want to enjoy the game. It don't matter to me. Yeah, it don't matter to me either. I was going to say, otherwise, like I say, you know, I can scooch one way if you want to sit here. Because I this mean, this I, reaches. Yeah, he's so got a lot I, of cord. I can he go can down this way a lot. Be right here on the end. We'll just get you a chair. There's another chair in the office, isn't there? There's another chair. Let me go get you a chair. Actually, you know what? There's crates right by the, as you go out from under the bleachers, there's two crates stacked together. It would be almost a perfect table to write on. That's another option. And then she sits back here and does Wh Whichever. I mean, we can put you right up here too. That's not a big deal. Yeah, I mean, at least with that, you'd have something to write on. Because you could sit right next to right next to Rick there, and you'd, be, you'd have something to write on. Uh, where's well, she's the... gonna get you a chair. You can right at the back. right at the end of the bleachers.
Good evening, hockey fans, and welcome to the historic ERRA Dome. It's time for Eagle River Falcons hockey. Coming at you from the historic dome in Eagle River. <laughs> Thank you. Once again, welcome to the historic dome in Eagle River. to thank tonight's sponsors. We'd like to thank tonight's sponsors, Lucy's Lunchbox and Chef Renee's of Eagle River. Just about ready to get underway here from the historic dome in Eagle River. Good evening, hockey fans, and welcome to the historic ERRA Dome, the home to your very own Eagle River Falcon! On behalf of the GLHL, we're proud to bring you tonight's matchup between the Marquette Mutineers and your Eagle River Falcons! Let's meet the starting lineups for this evening. First, for the Mutineers, Starting in goal, number 32, Brandon Nope. On defense, number 24, Nick Terebek. At defense, number 23, Snuggle McHuggins. Yeah, that's you, Ely. <laughs> At forward, number nine, Brandon Smitty. At forward, number eight, Gavin Burbeck. At forward, number 25, Nico Bellinger. And now for your Eagle River Falcons! Yeah. 
Starting in goal, number 31, Richard Yeshe! On defense, number three, Bob McDonald! On defense, number eight, Brian Kromberger! At forward, number five, Tom Karzinski! At forward, number nine, Noah Weber! At forward, number 23, Derek Keon! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, at this time, we ask that you please join us and help us sing the Star Spangled Banner. Led for you this evening by Mr. Rick Behrens. to thank tonight's sponsors, Chef Renee's at the Eagle River Inn and Lucy's Lunchbox. Gentlemen, it's time for GLHL action. Play it hard, play it clean, play it fair. Let's play some hockey! Woo! Underway here at the historic dome. McDonald moved it ahead to Kozinski. Knocked all the way down. He here is going to move it around the back of the net. Moved out to McDonald. He moves it across to Kromberger. Kromberger to Korzynski. Korzynski's shot deflected just wide and into the near side corner. Bucks tossed into the neutral zone, picked up by Kromberger. He dumps it up. He's going to give it off to Tion. Tion into the zone. A shot off to the stick of the netminder for the Mutineers. Nope. 19.09 now remaining in the first period here.
brought back into the Falcon zone. Fiala moves it back up the boards on the near side. Lucas Otto with it now. Move back to Fiala. Fiala moves it off to Robinson. Robinson feeds Mike Otto on the near side here. Otto trying to get around Freeborn. Gets kicked out to Robinson here. Top of the circle. Going to be gloved down there by No. Yes, sir. Yes, it was. Once again, we want to thank you all for joining us on this broadcast of Eagle River Falcons Hockey. We do apologize if the uh, stream, uh, you know, gets a little uh, weak on the uh, signal. As we got so many people in the building here, it does make it uh, hard to hold the signal. Hopefully, uh, you know, the camera doesn't shake too much as it is in the stands. Mike Otto with it now. Centering pass, Lucas Otto. Two shots there from Lucas Otto. Got two, got two. This might work Yes, she's going to move it around the back of the net. Brought out by Klomberger. Through the neutral zone here. Pass across. And it's in!
assisted by number eight, Brian Kromberger. Rubber from Kromberger, Falcons go! 324 in the first period. Woo! Your answer 15-47 here remaining in the first period. Falcons up by two. on the draw for the Falcons. Moved off. Give it back to Kaczynski from Kronberger. Kaczynski into the zone. Shot there. Just wide of the net. Brought around the back. Looking for a center pass. They kept in by Kronberger. Right out front, they almost had it tipped by Weber coming across inside the zone. Inside the slot, excuse me. Out the far side, gonna come all the way out to the neutral zone. Probably pick it up, moving off to Hosford. Cornelli dumps it in. Moving off to the far side, Lucas Otto's going to dump it in. Mike Otto gives chase coming around the back of the net. Right up front here. Cross back into the far corner. Picked out. Here's Nico Bellinger with it. Swept away there by Fiala. On the rebound, he capitalized on. Move back to Cornelli now. Cornelli feeds it ahead, gives it to Fiala. Fiala throws it off the boards. It's intercepted by Ely. Ely throws it off to the far side. It's intercepted there by Paracelli. He moves it off to Corn Cornelli, excuse me, who gives it to Langus. Right out front. And right. Couldn't get a hand on it though. Fiala pinches down. Puck gets tossed around to the far corner. Here's Caracelli with it. Caracelli looking for a centering pass. Broke up by the Mutineers. Here's Enright coming back. His shot went in right on Yashi. Falcons able to move it up back out to the neutral zone. Here's Langus with it. Langus' shot comes across the front of the net. Did not hit. Crawl. Sent there. Off of Freeborn. Mutineers moving the puck here. Tion able to intercept. Assisted by number 23, Derek Tion. 
Gromberger. And Tion with the assist on Berzinski's goal. are coming in. Two minutes of hook. 25, 25. they're hooking. 25, Nico Bellinger. There's in two minutes for hooking. Time of the penalty, 11.54. With that, it's time for a Falcons <laughs> power play. Side to McDonald. There's one. Yes, she comes out, picks it up. McDonald moves it off, gives it to Cromberger. Out to Lucas Otto, out high on the point. Far side, top of the circle. Give it to Kronberger. Back out high to Lucas Otto. Tipped off the skate of one of the players there and goes wide into the far corner. Kronberger's going to dump it around the back of the net. Mike Otto comes back to gather it up. Bob McDonald's back there as well. McDonald with it. Oh, come on. Lucas Otto able to keep it in. Gets sent out now out into the neutral zone. Picked up by Kronberger. And Falcons offside is going to get to the zone here. 10 13 remaining. Ten thirteen 13 here remaining in the first. 20 seconds remaining in the power play opportunity for the Falcons. And right, facing off with Kozinski. Ten seconds. Moved off. Ken Fiala almost taken off his feet there as Enright came through. Right there to the back of the Hosworth with it. Hosworth gives it to Korzynski. To Weber. 
Weber's shot goes off of a player. That went off of Bellinger. It hurt him, too. Cor Cornelli moves it to Koritz Korzynski, excuse me. Korzynski sends it across. Well, it's Why haven't they stopped it yet? They haven't gotten control of it. I thought all they had to do was touch it. All they had to do was touch it. Pretty much, yes, but I mean, the, the touches that they had were uh, not controlled. Two got tossed on that. Yes, 19 and 25 got games. Mutineers penalty on number 23, Ryan Ely. He received two minutes for a high stick. <laughs> Mutineers penalty. Can I see that real quick? <laughs> Mutineers penalty on number 15, Tom Myers. <laughs> Yeah. 
He received 10 minutes for a first one to one time. Nine unassisted. Nine unassisted. Yeah. I must have been. I don't know what he did down there, but holy cow. Falcons! Power play goal! Scored by number nine, Noah Weber! Unassisted! Zone. Swept away from McDonald. Tossed in by Savala. Lagus offsides there coming into the zone. 6.45 remaining in the first. Falcons up by five. What a first period. <laughs> wow. Cornelli moves it out to Robinson. Robinson sends it in right into the logo on Crawl's chest. Falcons out shooting the Mutes here, 15 to three. Mutineers Ely sends it around the back of the net. He's a former Falcons player. That's why I called him Snuggle McHuggins. <laughs> sure, yeah, Falcons have been out, out playing him here tonight. Completely. Pucks can come all the way down on Crawl. I hate to say it, but it's been Excuse kind me. of a... Wrong guy. I called him Crawl. That was last night. Tonight it's Nope. I, I was going to say, you did that before, Nope. <laughs> It's been nope. kind, of a, kind of a shipwreck of a night for the uh, it, Mutineers. It has been a shipwreck of a night for the Mutineers. Well, you're just full of all types of little puns, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> Don't sink my ship now, man. Come on. Come on, Mike. Bob on the far side. Poked away from Savala. Freeborn is going to send it back out. It's Kozinski coming, into the, coming out of the bench, and the Falcons are going to get a penalty for too many men. Bench minor, too many men on the ice. Two minutes. Yes. The Falcons received the bench minor, too many men on the ice. Time of the penalty, 527. Was I not supposed to put a number to that one? Or? No, it don't matter. I just put his because he's sitting. So. Yep. Here's Korzynski. It's poked away from him. He, he's able to poke it down into the corner past Freeborn. Picked up there by Weber. Weber rode off into the boards, gets moved over to the far side. Freeborn bringing it through the neutral zone.
Kromberger tried to pick it out. Moved off here into the near side. Kaczynski to it on the far corner. He tosses it high in the air, the length of the ice. Back into the zone. Newton Ears send it into the chest of Yashi. 40 seconds remains in the penalty kill here for the Falcons. Great crowd on attendance here uh, tonight. Lucas Otto coming through the far side. Otto looking for the five hole, unable to get it there. We want to thank tonight's sponsors, Lucy's Lunchbox. Step out for a great breakfast while you're in town for pond hockey or anytime at Lucy's Lunchbox on Wall Street in Eagle River. We'd also like to thank Chef Renee's at the Eagle River Inn. Lucas Otto able to steal it away here. Mutes push it back down into the zone. Kromberger tries to feed it up the boards. Both teams at full strength. Here comes Lagus with it. Lagus turns it around. Right out of the stick of Savala here, it gets kicked out too. Moved out to Cornelli. Tipped by Lagus right out front. Savala. Tries to pick the pocket. Gets sent in, moved around to the far side. Here's Robinson with it. He leaves it off for Savala. Excuse me, that's Carcelli. Carcelli gives it to Savala. Back over, tries to give it back to Savala, but it's broke up there by the Mutes. Carcelli with it now. Caracelli in the neutral zone. Gives it to Lagus, right back to Caracelli. 2.30 remaining here. Crossed all the way back down. Yeshi comes out, stops it up. High stick being called here as the faceoff is going to stay in the Falcons zone. 2.20 remaining here in the first period. Been a long period for the Mutineers. It sure has. I don't know how I feel, you know. I I, I got a feel for them a little bit. Yeah. You know, I, with the, I don't, I still don't know what happened with I, all no, that. I, no, I couldn't I see any of it, what was going on down there in the corner. No, that's, that's the unfortunate part of where we sit. We really can't, right. we can't see the very corners. That are, that are on our side, but... Uh, Here's Todd Brzezinski with whatever it. Whatever happened, it obviously was... Uh, Move, kicked back out of the zone. Robinson gathers it up. And obviously, right whatever it was, was something that uh, the ref did not like. Uh, and, and Enright obviously didn't like it, because he, he was losing it over it, man. He, he was really mad. One shot. Just a reminder, if you haven't gotten your tickets for the fire department raffle, those tickets are still available. We are drawing the winner for that tonight. You have the chance to win, if you're the winner, $10,000 or a brand new snowmobile or a beautiful new ice shack. Tickets are available right by the lobby, just $20. Get your tickets while you can. Thank you. And the Bucks also be after the second period. They're probably sold out of Bucks by now, huh? You would think. Look at the lobby over there. Yeah. There's room up here, though. 
there's there's still some room. There's room yet. Yeah. We've had more in here. Yeah. Falcons offsides coming into the zone. <laughs> Krasinski on the draw for the Falcons. Krasinski trying to work his way through. Weber with it. Moves it out to McDonald. To Kromberger. Back over to Weber in front of the Mutineers bench. Moves it down low to Tion. To Weber. His shot just wide of the net. Moved out to the far side. Tion brings it down into the corner on the far side. Korzynski back behind the net with it. Moves it out to Weber. Weber turns back. Brings it out to the blue line. He moves it across to Kromberger. Kr Kromberger drops it back out to McDonald. McDonald swashes it behind his back to Weber. Off to the far side to Korzynski. And his shot was just wide. Weber moves it out to Kromberger. Kromberger's shot, looking for a tip there from Korzynski, gets gloved up by no. 17 seconds remaining in the first period. penalties come in at? Yeah. It was 18-13, right? 8 so 18-13, right, is the 10 minutes. First whistle after 18-13, he can go out. That would be 10 minutes. Because 8-13 was left. The first whistle after 18-13 would be serving the 10. Right? I believe so. So he came in at 8.13. Yeah. Okay. We got a special treat for y'all.
just about time to get back underway here for the second period from the historic dome in Eagle River. Here we go. Period number two. Korzynski on the draw for the Falcons. Drawn back to Robinson, moved across to Kromberger. He moves it back over to Robinson. Robinson's gonna dump it down in, gonna come around all the way behind the net. Weber gathers it up for the Falcons. Weber around the back of the net with it, moves it out to Robinson. He sends it across to Kromberger. Kromberger to Robinson. Yes, she stops it up behind the goal. Tipped out. Here's Korzynski with it. Korzynski's shot was a missile just wide in the net, though. Cannonball. <laughs> Short-sided shot by Tion. Hard angle there. Poked back in. Fiala unable to keep it in there. He's going to chase it back into the neutral zone. Moves it off to Cornelli. Fed off to Tion. Tion with a lane. Drum down there by No. I'm just checking that. They did switch goalies. It's Phillips in there now. Joshua Phillips in the net for the Mutineers. Sorry. Bossworth going to take the draw for the Falcons. Facing off of Burback. Moved down into the near corner. Mike Otto with it. Moves it out high to Lucas Otto. His shot in goes off of the foot of one of the mutineers. I believe that went off a of temple. Cross behind the net, off onto the far side. Fiala sends it back around the back of the net. Mute's gonna send it in just wide of the net. Fiala sweeps it back behind the net to Cornelli. Good to go on the next whistle. <laughs> Here's Lucas Otto with it. He gives it to Hossworth. Poked away by Freeborn. Into the zone, Mike Otto has it poked away. Cornelli with it now. Feeds it to Lucas Otto. Otto leaves it for Otto. Back to Otto! The brothers skating together here. The puck got stuck. Stayed on the ice. <laughs> A little bit of water left there yet. If they're good, I suppose that could happen. Lucas Otto with a shot deflects off of the stick of Freeborn, and he says, no, no, no. Freeborn sitting there going, no, no, no. needed it. Freeborn's pocket picked. He's able to sweep it away, though. Moves it off to the far corner. That Carl goalie Selle makes a statement in the net away. there. Wow. Yeah, he's, a, he's a big guy. He is a big guy. I mean, when he gets down on the knees there, he's taking up a good part of that net. He's like Tua Yeshi. Left off for Savala. Savala tried to feed it to Robinson, but it went just past the stick. Chopped down. Well, let's see if Back he can stop some bucks. Well, I bet you he's going to get some shots here shortly. Down into the Falcon zone. Kromberger brings it around the back of the net. He's going to leave it off there for Savala. 
Savala. Pushed it up to Langis. Langis feeds Robinson coming into the zone. Savala able to hold on to it as Robinson was just behind it. Excuse me, just ahead of it. Moves back to Savala from Cornelli. Kaczynski tried to stop it up with a skate, but it's going to come all the way back into Freeborn. He's going to send it down in. Kromberger breaks up the pass. Moves it off to Cornelli. Fed to Weber. Weber lost it, though. Here's Kromberger. Hammer on the far side. Off the skate there on the side of the net by Phillips. Bucks going to come out. Weber stops it up on the blue line. Drops it down in. Gives it to Tion. Tion moves it behind the net. Picked up by Kozinski. Kozinski brings it out. Leaves it off there for Weber. Excuse me, that was Fiala. Not Weber, excuse me. Here's Weber with it now. Weber tried to feed it across to Tion. Kozinski is chopped up in the air past him. Here's Fiala with a centering pass to Kozinski. And then out. It, yep, yep. Came out. The rebound came out to Weber, and Weber put it in the back of the net for the Falcons. You can still hit it. <laughs> He's horny. <laughs> Brandon's got to go change his pants now. <laughs> <laughs> that was like me earlier. 9 5 20. When they, when they were practicing back here. <laughs> when they were practicing. Falcons goal! Scored by number nine, Dylan Weber. Assisted by number five, Tom Korzynski. Also assisted by number 20, Ken Fiala. Weber from Korzynski and Fiala. Falcons goal! 5-10 in the second period. Woo! practicing earlier one of the pucks hit the glass like right here and I jumped I mean I jumped and I had my back turned towards it and I didn't even think about it and all of a sudden it hit I was like, oh. of course everybody I was talking to laughed because they all saw it coming yep here's Kromberger with it he moves it off gives it to Hossworth Hossworth gives it right back to Kromberger he tried to feed it to Mike Otto. It was a step and a half in front of him. 13.45 remaining in the second period. We want to thank Lucy's Lunchbox, a great sponsor for us here tonight. We'd also like to thank Chef Renee's at Eagle River Inn. Yeshi stops it up off the draw. Came from Osworth as he drew it back. Moved out to Mike Otto in the far corner. Shot in, kick saved by Yeshi. Robinson bumped off the puck there. Charlie Looks works. like that one really hurt as he uh, was still coming off the ice there. I'm betting that's a Charlie horse. You can see the pain in his face yeah, as yeah. he was down on the ice. Freeborn moves it across. It's sent down the length of the ice. Yes, she comes out. Sends it back out into the neutral zone. Here comes the Falcons' Carus Selly. 
centering pass there. He was looking for Sabala. Off the post on the far side. Sabala moves it down to Lagus. Lagus moved it out to Caraselli, but the net is off. 12, 27 remaining in the second period. He is, man. He's like two in yet. Talking about Phil? Yep. Phillips. Phil Magola? <laughs> Phil Magola. That, that's about right there, bud. <laughs> Here's Sabala with it. Sabala feeds it to Lagus on the far side. There was Caraselli. I think there were at least two there. Plus two? What's that? Mike says two, I get it too. On the draw for the Falcons is Savala. So it gets worked around the back of the net. Robinson stopping it up out at the blue line. Mutineer is able to move it out into the neutral zone. Broke up there by Lagus. Back down into the Mutineer zone. Freeborn sends it back out into the neutral zone. Moved off to Lagus here on the near side. Lagus into the zone. Centering pass to Caraselli. Savala tries to put it in, but it's tipped up and into the near side corner. Moved out to Fiala. Fiala shot is in the back of the net. From Savala, Falcons goal! 8.40 in the second period. Woo! Here comes Tion with it. He gives it to Weber. Weber puts it between his feet. Centering pass there, looking for Korinsky. Korzynski. And he moves it to Robinson, who puts it in the back. Falcons goal. Twenty-two nine five. Falcons goal! Score by number 22, Jake Robinson! Assisted by number 9, Dylan Webb, excuse me, Noah Weber! Also assisted by number 5, Todd Korzynski. Nine fourteen in the second period. Woo! Call him Dylan. It's Noah. <laughs> I think I might have called him Dylan earlier too.
Here's Weber with it. Noah Weber puts it in the back of the net. I think if we go to 10, we just run the clock. That's four for him, right? in my head a lot as a child. I don't even know you anymore. No, it happens. I'm, we're not going to hold it against you. I need to start drinking is the problem. Uh-huh. I think we're all due for that. This coffee is just cold and it's not doing the trick. Oh, my! Big ears break the goose egg. Assisted by number 27, Ben Hughes. Also assisted by number 18, Kevin Burback. Time of the goal, 11.29 of the second period. Punch it out. Kind of watched that unfold. It was ugly. Got off to the far side. Haas was able to break up the pass. Lagus tried to feed it ahead to Lucas Otto. And it was unable to be caught there. Mutineers sent it all the way down into the Falcon zone. Here's Lagus. He drops it back. Gives it to Fiala. Fiala tried to pass it to Caracelli, but it was broke up. Caracelli able to move it off, though, to Samoa. Back up through the neutral zone. Robinson able to stop it up along the boards in front of the sin bin. Savala chases it off to the far boards, gives it to Kromberger. Kromberger to Caracelli. Caracelli around the back of the Mutineers net. Moves it out to the point. Robinson sends it in. Rebound right That's out front off. there. Lagus looking to gather it up, but it was swept away by the Mutineers. Mutineers through the neutral zone. Shot there on Yeshi, kick save, and off into the near side corner. Falcons moving around the back of the net. Robinson sends it back behind the net to Kromberger. Kromberger feeds it out, gives it to Savala. He tried to feed it to Lagus, but it was broke up by Ely. Kromberger down in the Falcon zone, brings it around the back of the net. Sends it out to Lagus. Lagus' pass broke up by Ely. Oh, 
excuse me, that was not easy. Red is taken down there. By somebody three times his size. Well, everybody's three si times his size. Thank you, thank you. Watch your cords, guys. doing his best impression of Gravedigger when he gets knocked down in a wrestling match. Did the dead man set him back up? Making snow angels. Good old Gene down there in the sin bin. He's got to add his two cents in, you know. Falcons bring it around the back of the net. That's Cromberger. He moves it out to Robinson, high out on the point. Robinson drops it back down in around the back of the net. Picked up on the near side. Can't see who has it down here as I can't see down into the corner. Mutineers push it around the back of the net. Here's Ely with it. Ely brings it out, moves it off to the near side. Down into the Falcons zone. Robinson able to tip it up and out of the way. Pops up over Yeshi into the near side corner. That was Krasinski. He was unable to capitalize on the pass coming in. And it gets off into the chest of Ely. And here's Krasinski. Thank tonight's sponsors, Chef Renee's at Eagle River Inn. We'd also like to thank Lucy's Lunchbox. Newton here sweeping up the boards. They were trying to feed it out. Trying to catch, uh, uh, that was uh, Burback coming across the neutral zone. He was unable to hold on to it. He went the length of the ice. We're going to have an icing here. 4.32 remaining in the second period. Welcome up 9-1. Burback? Burback? Yep. What's the name? Gavin Burback. Moves it off to the far side. Shot there. Korzynski on the near post. Got that one. Phillips able to glove it up. 4 11 remaining here in the second period. Falcons up by eight. Weber. Weber to Korzynski. Jumped down the length of the length of the ice there. Yeshi moves it around the back of the net. Cornelli moves it back around the back of the net here again. Hops over the stick of Fiala. Shot there. Tipped right out front there. Here comes Noah Weber. He puts it in the net! Falcons, 
with his fifth goal of the night, number nine, Noah Weber. Assisted by number 20, Ken Fiala. Weber from Fiala, Falcons goal. 16.30 in the second period. Woo! Here comes Hosler. He's got Lucas Otto with him. Phillips able to close the door. Otto takes Freeburn into the uh, bench by uh, the Mutineers bench. He rode him right off into the boards. Here comes Caracelli. Feeds it off to Lucas Otto. Lucas Otto brings it around the back of the net. He tried to feed it to Lagus right out front. Coming back the other way are the Mutineers. Shot there. Deflected off of Yeshi. Here comes Caracelli. Leaves it for Lagus. Lagus' shot just deflected wide. Somebody up in the Falcons bench there. We're going to have a stoppage here. 207 remaining in the second period. Falcons really out shooting the Mutineers here tonight. 41 to 12. Yeah. Woo! There's not much more you can say other than that. Yeah, for real. It's a true swashbuckling. It is a true swashbuckling. You are right. <laughs> I don't know how many more of these I can do. I don't, know, I don't know how many more I've got, man. <laughs> Savala gave it to Lagus. Right back to Savala into the Mutineers zone here now. Broke up there by the Mutes. Kromberger gives chase as it comes all the way back down into the Falcons zone. Moves it off to Caracelli. He tried to send it through Ely's legs, but it was deflected off to Savala. Savala able to move it back over to Carcelli. Deflected just wide of the net off of Savala's uh, shot down there off of Phillips. Centering pass to Robinson. It's in the back of the net. Falcons goal. Score by number 22, Jack Robinson. Assisted by number 26, Anthony Caracelli. Robinson from Caracelli, Falcons goal. 18-37. Woo! <laughs> Out to Cornelli. Moved across to Fiala. His shot deflected just wide into the near side corner. Moved off. Pass broke up there by the Mutes. Wide of the net. Yeshi knocks the net off. As play was not in front of him, they let it, put, let it roll. Here's Tion. Gives it to Korzynski. Back to Tion. Toe drags around. Brings it around the back of the net. Moves it out high to Fiala. Fiala sent it down. He was looking for a tip from Tion. Fiala with it down in the far corner. Moves it behind the net. Falcons put it in one more time by Tion. <laughs> I'm not supposed to drop it. Drop it. <laughs> Falcons goal. 
for number 23, Derek Tian. Assisted by number 9, Noah Weber. Tian from Weber, Pelicans go 1940. Woo! Ladies and gentlemen, we will be holding the puck toss very shortly. Please hold on to your pucks until the ice has been cleared. Zamboni hadn't been out yet, though, so at least there's 
that. Get out there, get your adult beverages for the third period. We're going to running time for the third period. Get your beers, get them now. Now I can put my phone the right way again. Remember, nothing goes better with the third period of Falcons hockey than a nice, cold, refreshing adult beverage. Please remember, drinking under the age of 21 is strictly prohibited. I got a Big thank you to Lucy's Lunchbox and Chef Renee's great sponsors helping us out to bring you this game here tonight. Next time you stop in at one of these great establishments, be sure to thank them for supporting Eagle River Falcons hockey.
back here at the historic dome in Eagle River for the third period. If you're ready for the third period, give me a hell yeah! for penalties, correct? Yes. Okay, correct. Thank you. Two minutes on both. Okay. What's his number? Yep. The penalty, the clock runs through the penalty. If the penalty expires and the puck is not down, they don't go out. And they wait till the puck drops. Well, I put the time that they... Yes, 1916. Is, is... No, it's the 1920 round when they call it. I don't know if it's the time that really matters. 16's fine, yeah, it, it's good. What number was that over there? Nine. Nine? So now, tell me again, what happens on the... It's in. That's a score. That's a score. Stop it? No. But he stays. Couldn't see him. 5-8. Five, 5-8. Eight. Five, eight. Five No, not on a goal or when they call the penalty. Scoring for the Falcons, number five, Tom Kozinski. Assisted by number eight, Brian Kromberger. Time of the goal, one minute of the third period. Falcons penalty. On number 22, Jake Robinson, he received two minutes for roughing. Time of the penalty, 1960. Mutineers penalty at number nine, Brandon Sheedy, he received two minutes for roughing. Time of the penalty, 1960. Good show, gentlemen. <laughs> Moved out to Tion. Across to Kromberger. Kromberger dumps it down in. Korzynski stops it up behind the goal. He's going to sweep it back to Tion. Moved off on the far side. Do we do we stop for an icing? Oh yeah, because I got I got stop open. for icing. No. No. Now, if the penalty runs out and the puck is not dropped, they do not go out until the puck drops. Do you hear me? If the if the penalty runs out and the puck is not dropped, they wait till the puck drops to go out. Now we're good. Now, go go. Both teams at full strength. Moved across. On the far side with it, that's Fiala. Fiala dumps it in. Around the back of the net. Mutineers stop it up on the far side. Moves out to Cornelli out on the point. 
one shot. Oh yeah, Robs was feeding him to him. Here comes Ely with it. He's a former Falcon. Uh, not Healy, Healy. Tied up there. Mutineers leave it off. Moving ahead. Into the Falcon zone now. Drop pass. Gonna get tipped up into the netting behind the goal. 16-01 here remaining. We're at does, running you know time. I put him in my pocket. You tell me to stop the clock, I'm gonna stop the clock. Until then, my hands are going in my pocket. Good deal, Except good deal. shots on goals. Shots on goals and scores, I'm pushing the button. On my Move own. off to the near side boards. Fiala with it, moves it across to Cornelli. Cornelli trying to move it ahead to Sabla. He gives it to Langus. Langus into the center. Turns back. Turns back towards the boards. Leaves it off for Fiala. Fiala gives it to Langus. Langus moves it out to Cornelli and it's going to hop over his stick and out of the zone. Cornelli gives it to Langus. Langus loses an edge in front of the Mutineers bench. Moved out to Fiala. It's going to get swept out of the zone. Caracelli's going to come back, pick it up for the Falcons. Caracelli gives it to Fiala, who gives it to Lagus. Lagus into the zone. Looking for a centering pass. Rebound there. Right out front was on the stick of Korzynski. Lagus rode off into the boards. Korzynski dances around a man. Pokes the puck ahead. Mutineers able to get control of it. Here's Korzynski with it. His shot off the post and into the near side corner. 14 minutes remain. Shot from Cornelli is gloved down there by Phillips. Just over 14 minutes left here. That's yeah, just about at 14 there. I was just saying it a little soon, I guess. Oh, sorry. No, no, you're good. You're good. 100% right, bud. But you got the mic. And draw. <laughs> hey, you got a mic too. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Don't remind me of that. <laughs> we keep you a little more talkative that way when you don't yeah, know about right, it. Right, right. Gotta watch what I say, otherwise, you know, put me on the plank and make me walk it. <laughs> <laughs> Up through the neutral zone. Here's Dil here's uh, Noah Weber. Excuse me. I've been calling him Dylan on, on and on and on. We'll get Dylan soon enough. Noah is uh, quite the player in his own right. That's for sure. He's got what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven points tonight for Noah Weber. Holy cow. I'm doing one because I, I don't, don't if there were more than one, I got one shot on goal, but I don't I That's see all any I more saw. than that. Korzynski draws it back to Tion. One timer! Fresh <laughs> Tion, Kromberger from Tion, 
Falcons goal. 7.29 in the third period. Woo! Piala sends it down in. Cornelli unable to keep it in as he was coming off the bench. Moves it across to Fiala. Ken Fiala into the zone. Fiala around the back now. Centering pass. Tion just wide of the net. I'm not quite sure if Phillips got a piece of that or not. I don't think so. <laughs> Moved off to Hossworth. Hossworth now into the Mutineers zone. Hossworth shots deflected up into the netting behind the goal. 11 minutes remaining here. At running time at the historic dome here in Eagle River. Falcons up 14 to 1. Out shooting by 40 shots. Mike. Oh my lord. 40 shots is insane. Shots on goal, 53 I'd like to, to say I missed some, but it's just yeah, I don't know on. they have. I mean, 80% of the game has been up in there. Yeah, exactly. It is, it is. Exactly. absolutely. That says it all right there. It does. Oh, and it's, there's, hey, there's one. Another set there by Phillips. You know, you got to feel for the goalie in that position, too, because that goalie is just a target down there over and over and well, over. Well, you know, literally he much. is a target because we keep shooting him in his chest. <laughs> I mean, you know, we may get 60 shot on goals, but we'd put them right dead center in the logo. I can't tell you how many of those 60 shots. And still somehow they find a crack. Oh yeah, oh yeah, they, they find their spots. You miss every shot you don't take. Here's Lucas Otto with it. Otto drops it back down to his brother Mike. Mike Otto comes off the boards. Tipped out to Hossworth. He's going to pass it all the way back to Yeshi. Yeshi moves it off to Hossworth. Hossworth to Cornelli. Up to Landis. And he's tripped. We got a penalty coming here on the Mutineers. Delayed penalty. Yeshi's off the bench. Or off the, uh, out of the goal and on the bench, excuse me. Now I gotta stop the clock. Now you gotta stop the clock, yes. See, then, I got the hang of this whole running time thing now. Yeah, there you go. It only took me 10 minutes. <laughs> and 46 seconds. Who do we got here? 22? 22. Yep. Mutineers penalty on number 22, Rick Temple. He received two minutes for tripping. Time of the penalty, 9-14. With that, it's time for another Falcons power play. Absolutely great week in the hockey game. Stromberger broke his stick foot in the wood to that one. Or the graphite or whatever that stick was made out of. Yeah. How about what? You have to drop it immediately. It's fiberglass? What are they? Fiberglass. Yeah. Kromberger moves it to Savala. Savala to Kromberger. Off the head of Phillips. I wanted to stop the clock again. No, no stop. Some little kid would love that little stick there. That's a good one. Give it to me. <laughs> Those sticks are not cheap, though. Moved out to Fiala here, out on the point. 
That's a little short for Christian to use. <laughs> Cornelli across the blue line. They're just beating up the clock. That's all they're doing. Weber moves it out to Korzynski. Five seconds. Both teams at full strength. Zinski on the draw. You're doing just fine, man. You're doing a good job. No, just one. Just Friday. Yes, it's a it's a late start for Friday's game. I, the Windigo will start at seven, which is going to put the Falcons off to like ten. Nah, it'll be midnight. Midnight thirty. <laughs> Last night's game was a really good game. Oh God, it was it, it was such a great game. Back and forth and back and forth. Right. And back and forth. What's that? I made it for the shootout. That's when I showed up. It, it was. I didn't get out of work until after six, and I told him if I could get here before six, I'd let him know and I'd sing for him again and watch the game. Obviously, you know, but I didn't. Well, I mean, it. despite of the fact that we lost. I mean, you couldn't ask for better games on either it was side. A really, really great game. Yeah. yeah, it was. I mean, uh, there there is something special about coming back and tying the game with 16 seconds left in the game, even though we lost. I mean, uh, that was so special. Fiala here able to keep it in. Right up front to Tion Phillips standing on his head. Just about five minutes remaining here in the third period as we're at running time with the Falcons up 14 to one. I went keen on third. <laughs> Oh, yes, it is. Oh, yes, it is. Really? I don't buy that. That it doesn't contain alcohol. Beautiful pass there from Robinson, but it hopped over the stick of Otto. That's crazy, though. If, it, if they did do that, they'd play, they'd, they deserve to. Yep. Swept across. Oh, absolutely. It's been non-stop domination. Yeah. All, all puns aside, the swashbuckling was just about right. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it was a shipwreck of an event. Shot there by Kromberger is going to deflect off the stick of one of the mutineers and up into the netting behind the goal. Well, you know, at the beginning of the game, they were a short bench anyway, so losing the couple that they oh, did God, out yeah. of their fleet, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you lose a couple of ships out of your fleet and, uh, well, you're going to get sunk. You're not going to make it far in the battle. No, you sure not. But kudos to the Mutineers, because they've played a good game since then, too, and they've tried to, I mean, they came back and scored one, and. Hey, at least they broke the goose egg. Yeah. Here's Mike Otto, feeds it out to Alex Hosworth. Hosworth shot, deflected off the leg. Oh, Phillips. Otto took a shot there as well. <laughs> <laughs> well, down by Yeshi. <laughs> I 
and he was supposed to be the fourth ref. But he forgot his pants. Should have just refed in his uh, slacks. <laughs> there you go, there you go, there you go. Here's Caroselli. <laughs> and Caroselli puts it in the back of the net. <laughs> Unsportsmanlike too. Yeah. Oh, no. What was his number again? Seven for White has a penalty for unsportsmanlike. Two minutes? No, it doesn't go up there. Oh. No. Sorry. Guess I better start the damn clock again. Oh. Falcons goal number 26, Anthony Caroselli. Unassisted. 17.45 in the third period. Woo! Yeah, Brian's gonna say yes. Lagus leaves it off for Hosworth. Shot there, deflected wide. There was one more there, I believe. You don't need to count it. It's fine. Okay. I couldn't tell you if it fully made it to him or not. Cinnamon, not for me. Oh, I'm all over cinnamon. Oh. All, all you, brother. I'll do tequila all night long, but yeah, no. Fireball is definitely no for me. So you're telling me I gotta fill a flask <laughs> next time I come with tequila? <laughs> I got Patron. Ooh. I got silver at the house. Woo! All right. I come in trouble. Okay. <laughs> coming down, putting on a hell of a show with us here tonight for you. Those boys are tired. Next weekend is River Cup. Yeah. How do the hours work on that? Wait. Be sure to watch online on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter for Eagle River Falcons as we get you the information posted about next weekend. Late start as it yes, is a double header. Saturday night in Mosley, Friday night here. Friday night, your Eagle River Falcons taking on the Mosley Papermakers. Well, the, uh, Starts roughly going to be around 10 o'clock as it is a double header. Please come out and join us right here at the historic dome in Eagle River. Big thank you to Chef Renee's and Lucy's Lunchbox. 
Great sponsors supporting your Eagle River Falcons. Be sure to thank them the next time you stop in at one of their great establishments. Once again, big, big thank you for all of you coming out and joining us here tonight at the historic dome. Please remember to throw your trash away on your way out of the stands. Your mother does not work here. We're all volunteers, and we want to get to drinking some beer. Woo! Good? Have a good night, y'all. I should have thrown this on the ice in and the uh, buck bucket. Dan, just leave it there. Set it back up. Set it back up. Set it up. Once again, we want to thank you all. He's tired. He's tired. Man. For joining us on this broadcast of Eagle River Falcons Hockey. My name is Michael Hallnagle. My helpers in the booth here, Ed Falsetta on the music. Rick Barron's on the clock. Amanda Crow on the score sheet. Gene Tim on the penalty box doors. And Dan Brown up on the camera for us this evening. Big, big thank you to all of you tuning in for this exciting episode of Pond Hockey Weekend in Eagle River. You got what you need, right? We want to thank you all very much. We'll see you right back here next weekend. Late start, a 10 o'clock start for uh, your Eagle River Falcons as they take on the Mosley Papermakers in the River Cup game. Friday night, 10 p.m. Have a great night, folks. We'll see you later. Thanks again. Good night.